So I made 10 episodes of this series, The Gears. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, I do gear review like this. It looks very metallic. It is actually cool. Image is so sharp. But if you make light properly, I can do this all day. This auto focus speed is just amazingly fast. Hit the subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I made 10 B rolls like this. I, I so what is the best and what is your favorite? Well, let's find out today. How's it going people? Welcome back to another new episode of The Gears and thank you for tuning in again. So today, I'm not going to do the gear review. You know, I had some schedule problems and this huge society issue, you know what I mean. Well, I could, but I thought it wasn't going to be like 100% satisfying my desire to create, so I decided not to make this week. But instead of doing gear review, today I'm going to look back what I've made in this series. Like I said, I made a 10 episode at this point, and that means I made 10 intro b-rolls. You know, some of them are my favorite and some of them are not. You know, I just want to review my own b-rolls and I want to know what is your favorite. So today I'm going to choose top 3 out of my 10 b-rolls and I haven't decided yet because I wanted to discuss right here right now. So also you guys can get along with me and enjoying this journey to make top 3 out of my 10 b-rolls and it'll be so great if you guys also choose your favorite b-roll and let me know in the comments. Okay, so from now, let's review my old B-rolls. Oh, by the way, I'm not gonna watch all of them because it's gonna be super long. So I'm gonna watch randomly just, you know, the one which I'm interested in. Okay, so of course, the first, the DICE 85 mil, which is my very first episode of this series. And I don't know why I chose this as my first review. You know, maybe DICE is cool lens and 85 mil is my favorite focal length. So that's why. Okay, so let's watch it. Yeah, this scene was shot on the Sony Anatomy Macro. Yeah, I remember that. Huh. 3D Techist and After Effects. Nice. Okay. This is not good. Alright, so one thing I realized is this is 4 minutes 30 seconds. Recently, the video is 10 minutes long, so that's a huge difference. Okay, so this B-roll is very informational. You know, spec of this lens with 3D techest and After Effects, but there is less like a cinematic sequences, just, you know, the lens and the techest. Well, I think the color grading and lighting is good, but other thing is... Yeah, just you know, okay. It's just like lens review B-roll. But you know, it's very easy to understand the spec of this lens, but you know, the less cinematic sequences. So, you know, of course I liked it, but not my favorite. Next. Okay, so Tamron 2875 is like the same as the Zeiss 85 mil, so I'm going to skip it. If you want to see it, here's the video. Okay, so I guess I want to see this Sony 2070 mil GM. G -mas. Nice. My taste. Hey. Good. Very good. Okay, so it's more cinematic than Tamron or Zeiss 85 mil. There were informations and also some cinematic sequences, especially the part like uh, raising the land along with music. That is very cool. I love it. But some of speed ramps are kind of awkward and weird. Like uh, the part, you know, putting the battery in an A7 III, that part is kind of awkward and weird. And I think the lighting is a little bit too dark and the skin is kind of pale, so... The color grading is not that good. But the music is fantastic. 
it's my genre it's my taste i love it it's not gonna be in top three but definitely one of my favorites so yeah that wasn't that bad okay so next one is yeah of course sigma 24 70 mil because you know i love this video and also this is the most viewed video on my channel wow 5,000 views right now Thank you guys. And I think this is the breaking point because from this video, I've started to film B-roll outside. Okay, anyway, let's watch it. Can't wait. Sigma. Sigma. Good, music's good. Very good, it's like a music video. Okay. Yes. Focal length. Good camera action, camera transition. And it's gonna be mask. Speed ramp. Speed ramp. Nice color grading. Okay, so I remember a lot of things about this B roll because, like I said, this was. Kind of breaking point it was the first time to film the b-roll outside so this is way better than other three b-rolls absolutely this has both of like informational and cinematic sides and especially music and fashion wow absolutely amazing i loved it it's my taste it's my genre you know it's my style so we can see the structure of this b-roll is getting better and the speed ramp is also getting better but the the color grading on skin tone is not getting better you know it's still you know pale it should be more orange and yellow but you know i have you know some problems about that but the camera action and the transition is very good creative but this masking part is kind of weird because it's not related to other whole scenes it's just like uh, i just wanted to use masking effects on this b-roll it's not seamless it's kind of weird but this part i really love this color grading i think it's done so well but the skin tone is kind of blue and pale so that is my huge problem i'm still working on that okay so is this gonna be in top three i don't know absolutely this is my favorite but you know i can't decide right here right now so i think i'm going to skip so next okay so next one is sony 90 mm macro well this b-roll is not my favorite so i'm going to skip it but i really love this 90 mm macro you know i use this a lot on my you know b-roll okay so next one is yeah 70 to 200 mil f 2.8 g master okay this is my top three favorite lens but when it comes to b-roll i don't know yet let's watch it S. Very good. Nice start of the view. Masking. Good. Eh, not good. I remembered the one story about this b-roll okay first thing first this focal length 70 to 200 mil this scene actually this is one of my favorite scenes okay so this lens you know 200 mil and f 2.8 so depth of feel is really shallow and I wanted to make myself stand out you know emphasized and this scene was shot successfully and the music and the scene are totally matched so I think it's very good but this scene yeah, this scene, like a color grading is not matched before. You know, temperature is kind of higher and the skin tone is a little bit weird. And I don't know why I shot this scene. Maybe I thought it was cool, but right now, I don't think so. But this one is good. The structure of this scene is really good. Background is amazingly blurred and this lens is really sharp and other thing is that this b-roll has less scenes so i think it's kind of you know boring but it's informational and also cinematic so it's not worst but not my favorite next okay so next one is this sigma 35 mil f1.4 well i already know this one is my absolute favorite and this is gonna be in my top three but 
Let's watch it just in case. Sigma. Bluesy, yes. Music's nice, fashion is good. Yes, I love this part. Nice camera action. Okay, so absolutely my favorite. First thing first, music and fashion. When I found this music, I came up the fashion immediately. You know, I imagined like a 60s and 70s look, you know, vintage style. This hat and this jacket. Well, actually, I can't find any negative point about this b-roll so this is gonna be like a number one or number two i guess color grading is not that bad it's not great but it's not that bad and the camera move is smooth and this first masking part you know it's really good way to stir the b-roll and the scene and the rhythm are totally matched this is really important but still the skin tone is a little bit a problem when do you fix man but in total average i absolutely love this so I'm going to skip it. Okay, so next one is Sigma 50mm f1.4. Okay, this is also my favorite one. Let's watch it. Yeah, the feeling is kind of different, right? What do you believe? The gear is episode 8. Okay, music is different. New style, new genre. Yeah, this scene was shot in one cut. Okay, my laptop is screaming. What's wrong with you, man? Okay, clearly the style of B-roll has changed. You know, there were some cinematic sequences before this B-roll actually starts. And this whole B-roll was my new challenge. You know, trying new genre of music. And especially the middle part was shot in one cut. So this B-roll is so memorable to me. You know, when I was shooting, I was so worried about, okay, does this even work? And we had, you know, so many takes. Finally, when we got the successful footage you know that was you know amazing we are so pumped about it and we are so excited about it you know i just wanted to edit this as soon as possible and share you guys so my new challenge ended successfully so this b-roll is one of my good memories okay so next one is sony 20mm f1.8 g lens but i'm going to skip it because i think it's kind of same as sigma 50mm you know the structure of the b-roll is really similar so i'm going to skip it if you want to see here is the video as always. So last one, my latest B-roll is Sony 85mm f1.4 G Master. And this B-roll part is super long. I think it's almost two minutes long. Wow. But it's last one, so stick with me. Play. Okay. Writing something. Clearly there is story in this B-roll. A new. It's new. I'm gonna call in somebody. Yo, it's Jake. If you know me, leave a message. If you don't, just leave a message, whatever. Just leave me a message, whatever. Just leave a message, whatever. Okay, call in again. Yo, it's Jake. If you know me, leave a message. If you don't, just leave a message, whatever. Finally.
It's closing time. Super gone. The bar is on the floor. It's me, the bartender, and the piano man. Good. The last call for alcohol has come and gone. Hey, buddy, time to go home. Sounds like a master plan. That sad story. Again, this was my new challenge. You know, I have been, you know, wanting to try this, this kind of short film look, you know, uh, cinematic sequences. And another huge thing, I finally fixed my skin tone problem. I am satisfied with this. Well, you know, the lens was good. Sony G Master 85mm was good. Okay, this Sony 85mm G Master, you know, B-roll, that was my whole new challenge and I tried it and I sometimes failed. Okay, not like this. Okay, what, what about this scene? What about this angle? What about this, you know, focal length? What about this, you know, focus point? What about this camera move? And I tried a lot of things and I guess it worked good. What do you guys think? Okay, so after the strict judgment, I chose top three B-rolls in the series. Okay, number three is Sigma 50mm f1.4. It is so memorable and I just like it. And I learned so many things through making this B-roll. So this is my number three favorite B-roll. So second is... Uh, Sony 85mm G Master. Well, it's the same thing. This B-roll was also a new challenge for me, especially this first one minute, and this was what I wanted to do. You know, I think this is my style, and I am satisfied with that I could express my world on this B-roll. And I saw a little bit of improvement on color grading. Of course, there are so many things that I have to work on. So this is the second favorite B-roll in the series. So winner is Sigma 35mm f1.4. Okay, this b-roll, the color grading is, you know, average and editing skill is average, not super fancy, just, you know, average. But music and fashion are my favorite. This is my taste, this is my style. And also this video has clear world view, like a vintage 60s style. Okay, so in this episode, I want to tell you guys that the best quality is not always the best. But you know, you need to have at least quality like a good cameras, good lenses, good places, and good music, and good fashion. But they are secondary. Primary thing is story and the world view. But you know, everything like, uh, you know, gears and colors and editings and places, music and fashions, they are making a story and a world view. But my point is don't be obsessed with, you know, gears qualities story and the world view come first quality gears come next okay this is it if you have your favorite b-roll in this series let me know in the comment below and if you have any thoughts just leave in the comment below too so today's topic is pretty much it and thank you for watching this video if you like this episode show me your thumb and the hit the subscribe and i'll see you at the next video it's a real thing.